Despite beating the Phoenix Suns yesterday and climbing back up to the first seed in the West, the Warriors still have a huge problem to figure out. Going back to that game against the Suns on Tuesday, I think you guys can clearly see that DeAndre Aiden absolutely destroyed the Warriors on both sides of the court. Dude had 24 points, 11 rebounds, in which 6 of them are offensive rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Most importantly, when Aiden was guarding a Warriors player, only 1 out of 15 shots were made. I think this clearly shows the weaknesses the Warriors have at the center position. In today's video, we'll be talking about the topic on whether the Warriors should trade for a center before the trade deadline. And with that being said, let's roll the intro. Hi. Yo, what's up guys, Jason is here back with another video. If it's the first time watching, I make Golden State Warriors content on a weekly basis. So don't forget to leave that subscribe and turn on the notification bell and you'll be the first one in the future to see more awesome videos just like this. Now, one thing I'm highly concerned about the Tuesday loss against the Suns is that it somewhat creates a prototype for other teams to beat the Warriors. Looking at Phoenix's game plan on the offensive side of the ball, they basically try to feed DeAndre Aiden as much as they can either from the top or from the 45 degree angle, and the Warriors did not have a good response to that. Obviously, you can make the argument that Draymond Green is now the best defender in the league, size still matters. Looking at the Warriors' current roster, we got three big men. James Wiseman, who is yet to return, Kevon Looney, and Emilia Bielitsa. Right off the bat, I am not moving Kevon Looney, except if the opposing team gives a great offer. So now the conversation is all around James Wiseman and Emilia Bielitsa. I'm going to start with Bielitsa first. This year so far, Bielitsa is able to average 6.2 points, 4 rebounds, and 1.6 assists, while shooting nearly 38% from the arc. Now he's only making about $2.1 million this year and I think his value on the court is way higher than what the Warriors are paying him. Plus, I strongly believe that the Warriors will have a deep playoff run this year and having a big man veteran guy like Bielitsa will help the team a lot. So now all the spotlights are on James Wiseman. Just a quick update, 3 days ago, Wiseman reported to the G League Santa Cruz Warriors to continue taking part in individual work meeting, his return is coming up soon. Let me get this straight. If James Wiseman comes out and plays at a decent level, we will not be having this conversation at all about training for a new center. Nonetheless, James Wiseman was truly really inconsistent last year. Now, he was able to average 11.5 points and 6 rebounds per game, but the overall skill sets and court awareness are still really raw. To be honest, when I said playing at a decent level, I'm really just asking Wiseman to protect the paint, grab rebounds, finish near the rim, and shoot some shots here and there when he is wide open. Again, I will never argue with the fact that James Wiseman is not talented because he clearly is. However, if he doesn't perform up to expectations, I honestly think that training him away is not a bad idea. Now, obviously there's some options out there, but one player I want the most right now is Christian Wood of the Houston Rockets. He can shoot threes, grab rebounds, and play in transitions, and will not cost a lot of money. A Wiseman and Wood straight up swap will work for me, and I'm okay with giving a second round pick and maybe some cash. Houston should be able to either way and I think they will like a player like James Wiseman who is only 20 years old. Alright guys, so this wraps up the video. Comment down below if you want the world to trade away James Wiseman if things don't work out. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave that subscribe and follow me on social media with all the links in the description down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.